All right, this dupe's closet, and we're gonna finish up the near automata automata picture today. Um, yeah, last video. It, th th this whole project was kind of long, so I just broke it up into two videos. Uh, you guys got to see the pre sketch. You guys get to see me throw the colors on and whatnot. Um, I finally finished the first part of the game. Like not the first part, like the first playthrough. Um, if you guys don't want to hear spoilers about you know the story or whatever, then just like I guess turn off the audio and watch the video because it's awesome. But uh, that's just you know just a warning. I've only gotten past the first playthrough, so anything beyond that is above me. Um, there's a lot of questions and a lot of things that I didn't have like answered uh, during my first playthrough. Uh, I know for a fact I did not do everything I was like supposed to. Um, I did get a decent like ending. Uh, I was relatively happy. I'm not gonna like kind of spoil that part for you guys. Um, but I, I don't know how much variations you can get on the first playthrough. Um, from what I was told, the second playthrough has um, pretty much the same story, but through someone else's eyes, and you get like a completely different ending and completely new content. So I'm actually really excited to play it again. Um, but there's some new games that are kind of uh, going to take the spotlight off of this one for a second. Um, but I, I was, you know, the game is not long. The first playthrough is about five hours. Um, and, you know, a lot of people would think that's really short, but there's actually 27 different endings, or 26, I can't remember. So, that makes it way worth playing, like, a fuck ton of times. And I, I probably will. Um, but I want to do it in small doses. Um, some of the things that I kind of wish, like, were a little different, uh, through my first playthrough, I wish I would have played on hard mode. So I felt like after a while, um, things kind of got a little trivialized. Uh, I got, you know, after I got my full upgrades and, like, auto heal and stuff like that, like, it, it got really, really easy to kind of just steamroll everything. Um, but I loved, I loved the weapon variations. Um, I think the, the variation I liked the most would have to be, um, like, the spear and, like, the big, like, the giant axes or the giant, uh, the giant weapons. She just like slam the spear into the ground and like spin the giant sword around her like stripper style. Very very fancy. I didn't know that uh, there was different attack variations at first because I just kind of stuck with the the katana and I believe it was like the katana and the short sword I actually used for the longest time, which means I wasn't getting any fun because they're both the same type of weapon. And um, after I started like checking out the other ones, I realized how much I was kind of shooting myself in the foot by uh, by not trying all the other stuff. Um, I, I thoroughly enjoyed once, uh, once I got the, the other, the other weapons and kicking ass with that. Um, some of the other really good ones was, like, the gauntlets with the, um, with the, with the heavy weapons. You would just, like, throw the gauntlet up and, like, smack it with the heavy weapon. It would just, like, projectile through uh, a bunch of enemies. I used that as my secondary to just, like destroy robots like if there was a horde I could just whip out that move and sm like baseball swing and smack them all so um super super fun um when it came to this picture and coloring it though uh, I went through a few different colors on her hair because I realized that most of her outfits kind of black and uh, I didn't want it to be just normal black so I wound up making it like a deep gray and then I realized that I don't really have a lot of grays um for my copics so I was like, well, we're just going to have to <clears throat> switch it up a little bit. Her hair would have just, like, been completely boring if not. Like, if, if, if I would have left the outfit white, like, her hair actually looks pretty cool right now. But, um, I wound up putting, like, a little bit of green and stuff into it. Uh, drawing her skin, that was easy. Uh, I just used uh, the black pen for the first outline, and then I think I went over it in, like, pink pen. Just to kind of give it that, like, softer, like, uh, like, inflection. I think it turned out really good. Um, when I came, when I was doing her one eye, um, I think I, I forgot that I just inked it, and then I went over it with Copic, so it started to bleed a little bit. And at first, I was like, "Fuck!" I done jacked up the whole picture, and then I realized that it kind of just looks like mascara. Like she's even more gothic Lolita than she already is. So I was cool with it. I just let it happen. And I was like, "Whatever, move on." Um, yeah, the picture itself, I actually had a good time drawing. Like, I really, really need to draw this picture because, like, playing the game and, like, seeing her and the way she, like, gracefully, like, cuts enemies in half, like, it kind of had me inspired and I, I really needed to do it. Like, I, I, if I didn't, I would have been thinking about drawing it. And so, to get this out of my head, I just had to draw it right now. 
Um, yeah, even put like blue in the hair too. Like I, I did a lot of weird stuff with her hair. Um, don't worry, it turns out looking semi decent. But I honestly think I should have left it with just the blue. Like I think it looks all right that way too. But you know me, keep adding until it breaks, and then when it breaks, cover it up, and then it looks somewhat okay. Um, yeah, near uh, the ending, amazing. Um, very very like visceral. And you really got to see the emotions of some of these characters that at first starts off like very really, uh, like hollow and coarse uh, to be uh, specifically I thought was like very very straight edge at first but as things go went on you kind of get to see her connection to 9s uh, grow and uh, it's actually pretty cute like they're they're adorable like I have a fucking it's awesome I love this game it's so good um yeah i didn't get to see like the uh the other android again like well i think i killed her didn't i or did she get away i can't remember i think she got away i'm pretty sure she got away because i didn't fight her after uh the animal or the the kingdom uh i wound up fighting a few like hidden bosses and like getting around there that was cool there was these locked chests that i couldn't figure out how to open like scattered throughout the whole game so i'm pretty sure i'm gonna be able to unlock it in my second playthrough if not like eventually um but yeah like some of the themes the themes of like robot religion and like ascending to become gods and like you know what's worse killing a robot with a personality or killing a human with no personality like there, there's a lot of like different dualities to it and uh, i thought the game was just it's a, it's a beautiful piece of work man it the game is art itself like i can see the beauty in it and i fucking love it so enough for me kissing ass on near um one of the things i kind of wanted to talk about were a few other games that i'm probably going to get into um kingdom hearts uh 1.5 and 2.5 just came out so i'll be doing that and so i might do a kingdom hearts piece eventually um and that that'll be interesting because kingdom hearts is just like they have a very unique art style uh, i even have some of the old mangas and they're really good like the the, the art style is impeccable the storyline makes no fucking sense but i don't i don't mind as much like as long as i can see Sora in his doofy face and like goofy and and donald kick some ass like i'm happy um after this video i'm probably going to be working on uh, I have a, a picture of a ranger from my Dungeons and Dragons campaign, and uh, I'll probably talk about her campaign and uh, tell me if you guys are interested in hearing stuff like that. Because if so, like I run multiple different games, and I can just draw the characters and tell you guys the backstory about them. So if you're interested, we'll we'll find out, I guess. Um, but yeah, near Automata, what a great treat! Like I I knew it was gonna be good. I knew I was gonna like it, but I didn't know to what extent. Uh, it's real. The love is true. So, um, alright, I'm gonna let it go off to, like, a little bit of music. Uh, enjoy. If you guys want to see more of me, stay tuned. Uh, I've been trying to upload about, like, once, at least once a week, um, if not a little bit more. Uh, streaming has been kind of down lately, just so everybody knows. YouTube has been farting up, so I'm just gonna, like, make videos on Sunday, I guess and crank them out for the week net before or after it um i may do like doing these narratives like this i hate doing it but i'm starting to get used to it it's not so bad actually i guess we're not going to listen to any music because we're almost out of time well it's doof's closet and um see you guys later for the next video peace out <laughs>